Hello, welcome. Hello, everyone else. Welcome back to Planet Pace, which is, uh... Yeah! Launching. No pun there, honest. Uh, suddenly, for a second, the cover of Boney M's Night Flight to Venus danced through my fogged old mental eye. Yep. When I was a little kid, I thought that beginning sequence, they start up the spaceship and they're flying and stuff, and they avoid the asteroid. For me, that was the best part of the record. That was the big moment. Just like when I was really little, the best uh, moment on that, when my dad had the uh, Beatles collection records, the uh, color discs. One of the color discs was lost later, unfortunately, but uh, hey, that's another story. But yeah, my favorite on that was, of course, all the submarine hissing and clanking noises in uh, Yellow Submarine, because, you know, I thought it was like being in a real submarine, because I was like that even when I was a kid, and I'm even worse these days, which is why I'm doing this. I feel like some sort of uh, horrible corporate manager here. Oh my god, do I have colonists switched on? No, I got nothing switched on. I'm gonna throw engineers at my problem, and so we'll just go ahead and do all that. Uh, maybe not visitor. Maybe not visitor for the moment. Yeah, we already got this visitor. Counting all my loud in. Okay, so we're just gonna leave things alone for the moment. We've got spares. We've got semiconductors. We've got guns. We've got stuff. Right? Let's check our limits. Medical supplies are a bit psycho, but whatever, they can just keep making them. Spares at 15 seems reasonable. Semiconductors at 10 will never attain. Take it to 5. Guns at 10 we have attained. We could potentially attain thingy. Carrier bots at 30, constructor bots at 5, driller bots at 4. I'll take driller bots to 5. I don't know if that's really technically enough constructor bots. We've got 11, 10, and 6. Okay, well, that means we won't build any constructor bots for a while. Oh, thank you for telling me that, but, but, oh no, look, that mine is connected over to this. So why the devil nickets? Can I destroy that connection? And now, you would think I could at least take out the connection if these two were connected, but I am sad to say I'm screwed there. And I was kind of planning to take out quite a lot of stuff here, including that mine. I can't even demolish that, or that. I can demolish that. Oh, that's nice for me. That's helpful to me. Not. Well, we'll see how it goes. I suppose... Oh, I hope I didn't miss a ship or anything. Well, I've had speed on low. Look, we're going to get those engineers in right now. I don't even want a trade, actually. I'm going to take that off again. Put that right down. Yeah, we're going to take Trader off again, and we're going to kill this pad. And here we go. So, hopefully that's not Raiders. Please. It's Engineers. Good. Let's turn off Colonist. Uh, we're going to do a dip, dip. Click. Okay, and we'll just kill the pad for now. I do hate the red ticks, but for the moment, we're going to do that. Saving a little juice might be in order, considering what I'm about to do. Uh, which is just destroy this entire area with the hand of destruction, uh, after plugging this junk in. I don't th uh, I might want to wipe out the entirety of this sector. I'm not even kidding. I might want to take everything out here. Because I kind of want a bot facility in. So I don't even need to... Yeah, it's going to mean taking out both mines. I might as well shut this one down for now. Oh, it was at 88%. It'd be a shame, wouldn't it? Of course, there's no one working yet. Oh, because I just kicked two mining bots out. Okay, fine. Shut it down again. <sighs> Mad now. Mad now. That's okay. We got steel for the moment. We'll be okay. Spares, things, this, that, guns. Well, not until I see bots really jump. Care bots are going up. Um, anyway, let's uh, do a quick save, which is F9 in this game. Make sure our speed is down where. Oh god, there's the button. 
And let's start ripping this down. Destroy the whole shebang. I'm tearing this all out. I just, I know this is crazy. I'm well aware that what I'm doing is wrong. But it means I can do all this crap at once. So the trick would be, now is that a truly massive one? Yes, and that's a truly massive one, so they don't get replaced. Hey, wounded soldiers. I didn't even know they were there. So what we need is all the carrier bots to pull that steel out of our way, so... I don't think I broke the base. I don't know if I'll quick save though. I don't think I broke the base, but uh, oh, there is a storage pretty good and close, so... Yeah, and the idea is to get a bot maintenance in here. Oh my god, we could almost have loop around to this area if I pulled that stuff out. I could almost loop around to this area and have full connection. It requires destroying a very large turbine, but I already had some other stuff that needed replacing. Two, now I'm going to get people asphyxiating if I build out here, I'm going to guess, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in another big collector out here. My uh, graphics card has decided to inform me of its displeasure at this point. <laughs> another big collector out there. And then we're going to put another big fan where we can reach it in here. So, yeah, it's, it's at a reasonably acceptable distance. Should it be a fan or a... Yeah, like, what is best? What is best in life? What is it? The hawk at your wrist, etc. To crush your enemies. To hear the lamentation of their women. Oh my god. Good times. It wasn't pure Robert E. Howard, but it was a pretty good approximation of Robert E. Howard. It was pretty good. So that gives us some base room around here as well that we can expand into, which will probably result in another dorm's destruction. We're just gonna jack up speed. We're definitely not taking customers right now. If I hear a ship, I'll know it's raiders. Luckily, the bots seem to be primarily handling this issue, so... I'm gonna guess that fan will be up fairly fast, so I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh, should I? Dare I? Need I do? It's dangerous to do this, but uh, it's okay. Let's just do it. Blow that up. And let's just blow that up. 13 bioplastic because of all the bunks. Oh, snap sacks. Okay then, so... That's a bit sketchy. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it. And then we're gonna start building out here. Although that airlock is gonna have to go. So we're gonna have to build another airlock, I guess. Somewhere else, but, uh, not there. Turbines up. Uh, it's connectors up. Okay, so now we have to figure this out. Um, we do need to replace the mine with one mine. We will place that mine over here now. We'll place that mine over here now. If I can get those uh, green lines I just had, it. Eh? Oh, come on, I had a better... I had a better set of green lines than that. Let's just try this. Oh, you know, turn speed down, my god. Am I crazy? Okay, so we'll just put it like that. That seems reasonable. Now, as to all this mess... Uh, you know, I think I need another water collector. Oh, wasn't I gonna tear that water collector out? Oh god, am I out of my mind here? Plug that in. That'll connect those two. And then I should be able to pop that out. But I guess I better build another water collector as well, so let's do it. Let's put it in way out here. Big size one. 
Go there. Let's not make a mistake on that front. I mean, who knows? The water tower could be draining already, right? We just don't know. And we'll demand these builds relatively slowly, I guess, so that steel production can continue. Alright, so I am going to need speed up. I am really am going to need a different airlock. Or just an airlock at a different angle. It's not really going to happen for me, is it? No, I'm not going to get an airlock on a different angle or a different airlock. I'm not getting that. So I'll have to call that one close enough to the mine, tear this one out, and build another one over on this side of the base somewhere. Holy crap. So are those both mediums? They are. Oh, dangling participles. Oh, because that would be a good place for an airlock. Now I've screwed this all up. Ooh, that's disturbing. You know, this all should technically connect. I don't know why it's not easier to destroy stuff, to be honest with you. Because, uh, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and F9 on this. I don't think we're dead or anything here. Okay, it did give me the ability to, uh, do that. Maybe I should build another large water extractor. I don't see any reason not to. So, let's see if we can just squish one in. Like that. And yeah, that's a little bit of a psychotic stretch for them. It would be nice to build the base out in that direction. Okay, I guess I'm starting major internal modifications before I'm doing proper expansion, obviously. Seems a bit crazy right now. I have to rip that airlock out, but I have to replace it with some other airlock? Or will they be able to manage without it? Yeah, you know, it's not going to kill them. I think they'll manage without it. So, firsties, firsties, firsties. Out you come. Well, hang on. Let's get that other one built. Oh god, are they going to go out of oxygen on me? Shit. Happiness is the problem. Oh, I was having that problem before, wasn't I? Yeah, I kind of was. Oh, it's not as bad as you might expect. Uh, it looks like dude's not going to run out of oxygen, but it isn't good. Uh, he'll make it, but uh, yeah, he was pushing bingo point there. Let's check these guys. Okay, good. Pretty good. And they're going to the furthest one, so yeah, they're kind of pushing the bingo point there. It's a bit sketchy. Uh, our meter defenses are completely not up to snuff. Uh, looks like our telescopes are a bit better, man. We will leave that water extractor in place because we can build around the filthy thing. So we've got one water extractor up. That's very good. So back over here. So we'll be depending on that airlock pretty much exclusively. And that small storage is getting cramulated. Yeah, it is too. It's not good. Oh, well, we're about to use up a lot of stuff, eh? Oh, bioplastics, not exactly. Oh, food revamp. That's what this episode was supposed to be about. Food revamp. Um, not good. We need food revamp. Uh, yeah. Because mixed meals aren't enough, and I don't know the recipes and things. I was supposed to be looking up those recipes. Alright, let's pull out a mushroom pad. Come on. And let's put in a wheat pad to replace it. Right to there. And let's pull out a mushroom pad. Put in a wheat pad to replace it. And then let's pull out a potato pad and put in a GM tomato to replace it. We're trying to get smart here. Uh, we'll leave that other potato pad, the other mushroom pad. I think that's a start. Uh, we're probably going to have a bit of a lack of bot availability going on with that. So we won't stress them too much right now. Have they got these collectors that we just ridiculously commissioned? Oh, okay, we're getting big now. And I'm lost. I'm, I'm lost. It's this way. <laughs> Gotta replace that dorm space, but I'm not gonna stress. So those are both built. 
I'm going to say that's enough collector power for now. And so we're going to actually start building out here now. Unless we want to pull off this medium unit as well, which, you know, it's true, we could. Take that off, and we can't take that one off because it's the connection for that. So that's annoying. And, and we don't seem to be able to build any other form of connection to that. That's annoying. Um, okay, so, yeah. And what's this? Wheat. GM onions. So, and those are both GM tomatoes. So let's take out the GM onions and put in an easy maintenance pad of uh, mushrooms, I guess. We don't have peas in anywhere. There's got to be a reason for every thing. Okay, let's go. To the, that's the one we just worked on, so let's go way down here to this one. And let's yoink on mushroom pad. And what do we got there? Radishes? We do have radishes. Potatoes, potatoes. We'll yoink a potato. We'll yoink two potatoes and replace them with one wheat. Or one rice. No, we'll do one rice. Rice, rice. We'll do one rice. And we'll do one, uh, I don't know. Got GM tomatoes in there? Yeah, but let's make two. Let's do another wheat. And sure, let's put in uh, another tree. No, let's not put in another tree. Let's leave that alone for the moment. I, I'm screwing with food in a stupid way now. How's meat? Solid. We probably need a better mixture. Like, how much beef do I have really going here? Probably not enough. Actually, I kind of think that is pretty balanced. Okay, this is an absolute disaster, but we're doing fine. So, they've cleared all that away. There's the last of the medium extractors. We can't really easily remove it, unfortunately. Although, I swear this stuff... Uh, I guess if I plug it in here... Well, I don't seem to have that option, do I? No, I don't seem to have any plugging it in type options here. Nope. Not going to happen, so I guess we're keeping that small unit. Um, we could throw an airlock on there. Let's, let's actually sort of replace the other one. Not really sure. Well, let's think this through here. We need dormitory space for one thing, so... That dorm we tore off, we'll throw over here if we can fit it. Yeah. And then pop that on like this. And then we're going to take a small O2 because we're doing small O2s all the time now. Can we do the two connections? Yes, that's nice. We like that. Uh, now we really wanted a bot unit in here, so we're going to have a small robotics facility. Um, I wonder if we can uh, have an airlock running to it. Uh, there's no... They'd have to walk a long way around to use that said airlock, though, so I don't know if there's much use for that. However, I think it's not a bad spot for a bot facility. I'm just having a hard time deciding the precise placement, so bang that on. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and uh, probably put another small food dome in, unless I've got one up here. I don't, so I'll put, or another, maybe we'll put a huge food dome in. That is a farm dome I just chose, right? Yes. We will put a really big bio dome in. We'll toss it over here. Pop. And then we will put a big central bar for everyone to enjoy here once we rip out that airlock. Which I guess we'll rip out 
once they've got the rest of those structures laid out. So that's how that'll be. All right then, that's worth a quick save. Oh good, they built the oxygen generator first, aren't they clever? I hope I built enough water and power to back everything up. I guess I could take a look at the grid right now. Oh, power grid. Okay, so we can use more storage. Uh, we build one more storage then. Oh, oh, level two alert. Curses. Curses, curses, but that's okay. So, what was I building? Another power collector. We'll just keep everyone inside for now, though. Hey, look! It goes way out this way. I didn't realize. Oh, no, it doesn't. Not really. That is sort of off the map. Okay, then. Fine. Uh, I guess that's both the right spot. Pop it on right there. And it's a shame about having to be on alert. But here comes the sandstorm, so on alert we'll stay. Now that is going to make considerable demands upon the system, so... Water, let's see what happens with... You know, I think I better put in a tower. You know that? I think I better put in a nice big fat water tower. It's small after all, it doesn't take much steel. Just attack that on there because uh, I've got a feeling that water production during the sandstorm is going to drop a lot. Let's see. Uh, not seeing it. Actually, I'm not seeing it. No, it is. No, I'm not seeing it. There is really no issue happening with that. It looks like we make quite a lot of wind power. The solar's just bonus juice, eh? Well, oh, and we get no semiconductors now because we drained out bioplastic, eh? Oh, that's a thing. So steel is actually working ahead of bioplastic right now. And we do have some starch, but, uh... I don't want to challenge the biologists with a lot more craziness, eh? Well, let's go ahead and uh, put in a pea pod pad because we don't have any. Uh, fine. Uh, we're going to have to get more biologists. Yeah, I think we're going to have to get more biologists. They are keeping everything working, but they're not very happy. I almost took the alert off because we're getting close to the end of it. So, as to bioplastics processing. I've only got one steel in that. Maybe it's just, it's fine. Let's just not stress. Let's not stress. So I think we need some biologists. Most likely. It seems like we probably do. Uh, this is a bit of a disaster. Are they making any bioplastic for us? Good God, that's getting full. 62% full. Yeah, are they making any bioplastic? What's going on? Like, where are my bioplastics most located? There we are, here's one. Should I be putting another one in there? Hmm. Uh, I should have time on four here. Oh god, there's no bioplastic to even build this pee pad. What a nightmare this is. I thought I had put in a big, uh... I thought I had put in a big, uh... Yeah, manufacturing system over here. Uh, maybe it's just a starch thing, so... We better get some biologists. Basically, we better get some biologists. Let's go with 80... Uh, let's go take that off, put some on here. Uh, take some back from there. Uh, yeah, sure, that all seems pretty reasonable. Uh, let's take speed back down for a second. Alright, we'll go ahead and turn that on. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, no, that's what I meant. Oh, crap. Uh, yes, yeah, Stranded Travelers may land. That is okay. Hello, Stranded Travelers. That is a really cool ship. That is a really cool ship.
Yeah, we should probably have stuff for them, I guess. Ooh, there's a few of them. Alright then. We'll leave that, we'll leave, we'll just leave that paddle on. Okay, so hopefully we don't have a low O2 issue going on. Okay, okay. So they've got most of the stuff brought out to that. 90%. So as soon as these two little guys are in, we're going to pull this airlock. We're going to shut it off so no one pathing to it. Okay, come on in, guys. And then we just shut that off. Yep, yeah, you turn around. The airlock is out of service. You better get out of there, man. Come on. He's having some problems. Alright, pop. God. Now, we wanted a nice big bar, basically. A big happy time bar. Oh, is it possible that we could even do something that insanely awesome? Anyway, air maker connection there, and put this connection here. And, I don't know, it would be kind of cool if we had that connection, or this connection. But those things are not to be. That's fine. We do have an airlock down there. What we need is an airlock further up this way. You know, I'll try to be a bit smarter about that. I'll go sideways and up and airlock before I rip the airlock off, essentially. Okay. Starch is not exactly pulling upwards. Um, I don't know how much starch production we need here. That's a pee pad, is it? Uh, we should have, like, another GM tomato or something? Probably. What's that? That's a pine tree. Stop that. I want these ones. Wheat and, yeah, just put in a GM tomato right now. We're gonna get some biologists in, so let's get that going. Get those mixed meals. Let's get another vitro meat maker in, up in this far lab up here. Where is it? That's probably not a bad idea. Let's throw another meat maker in here. And since it'll default to chicken. Oh, I'm probably gonna build off that. So actually get rid of that. Probably gonna build off that side. Let's stick to this side. That'll default to chicken, so we'll put this one to beef. I mean, not the chicken's a bad meat, but you know, we've got enough. Okay, now we've called for all these harsh builds. Hopefully no one will die building them, basically. That's okay, though. Yeah, we've we've done mean things. Can we fit an airlock in here? It would be kind of sweet. Kind of sweet if I could stick one in. Like, just off of here, or... Uh, that's not necessarily any good, but uh, it's better than nothing, actually. And I did have it for a sec there. Let's just hit that again. And I did have it for a sec there, so we're going to go ahead and take that airlock off of there. It's a safety thing. That's a safety thing. They're going to need that. Yeah, look at this. They're hungry and wrecked. Okay, I better not stress them any harder for a while, eh? Except I'm gonna put a boost on that. What is going on here? Oh god, these guys are miserable. Oh shit, eh? Okay, what's the base uh, happiness at? Oh, pretty solid. We just got... Are these all biologists or something? Can't really tell. Okay, let's see if we can... Oh my god. Oh, we do need the biologists. We're doing good on food, though. I just want starch up, and I want biology functioning. Uh, did I give this all enough O2? I'm really gonna hope so. I'm really gonna hope so. Those small O2 generators are a bit limitado. Aren't they? Yeah, they are. Anywhere I could sort of slip one in. Kinda. Maybe. I'll put one in here. No, that's where one already is. We're just gonna just try not to worry. We're gonna really hope that's not a problem. It's getting oxygen. Okay, it's gonna be okay. And there's another O2 generator right there. So yeah, it's okay. Oh, good. So that's this done and no more stress for the build out there. So, And we did need more uh, power. 
We're gonna fill up, actually. Well, you know, we're down to two steel. I better not. Cause yeah, I was like, get another one. But I better not. Uh, you know, I put a boost on the airlock, but nobody built it. You gotta love that. You gotta love that, man. Oh well, maybe he's building it right now, right? Oh, is there gonna be enough oxygen? Sure, there's dual oxygen makers there. Sure, now he can even go in through it. Perfect. Oh, and look at that, the robotics facility is desperately in need of robotics makers. That's okay. It'll all work out. So yeah, now we just need everything to kind of bounce. Uh, yeah, they can build that. It's not a problem. So then we just need to throw an airlock away in that direction, I guess. We'll work it out. Good work, little robot. And, uh, yeah, ore is functional. Starch is functional. Bioplastic is dead. We'll be fine. Everyone's tired. I did put another dorm on. But, of course, there's no beds in it and hardly any beds in this one. Nice. That's nice. Um... I'm a bit of a jerk for that. Sorry, I should have been holding down shift here. Let's just pop them in. We're gonna need some of these. And I know they're gonna go ahead and waste bio plastic on it pretty much faster than they use it for anything else, but whatever. Oh, I didn't really want that prestige. What I want is all these guys. Hey, we got a lot of food. Oh, maybe if I don't build beds, they won't send me many colonists, though, right? It's kind of a possible yikes. Oops. Are the enemies? Maximum alert. I'm not going to try the airlock trick. We're just going to lose colonists. I'm not going to try the airlock trick. We're just going to lose colonists. Basically, they are grabbing guns, so... Good. Yeah, people are definitely grabbing gunsies, so... Oh yeah. oh yeah, look, an engineer and a guard are poking that one to death. Hey, they seem to be able to shoot right through the walls. There are two of them are now, but there were a lot more than two of them, eh? Oh no, it's going to the medical and shooting medicals. No, it's wandering around. What? What is he doing? I hope we don't lose colonists. Oh no, Lilla Chambers, a guard is down. Oh no, she's pinned down, he's pinned down, he's pinned down. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that biologist is almost dead, man. Oh my god, he's gonna go under. Whoa, that's bad. We gotta stay on red alert. Yeah, I know. Stay on red alert. I don't think we got them all. I don't think we got them all, man. We do need more medical supplies. But how bad are these people hurt? That biologist is definitely going to go under. Like, where is he? What is this medic doing? He's drinking at the fountain. Stop it. You should be on duty saving lives, you fool. God, I'm going, I'm going to go see medics carrying vegetables. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, drink your fountain. And then what are you doing, right? Let's just see. Going to connection. If he goes to idle, he did. He's going to multi dome? Are you kidding me, James? Alright, so I need medics. Uh, yeah, this is a mess. I guess I could take the alert off. Man, I'm not sure if these people are getting helped. Marcus Church. Gabriel H. House. Please, yeah. I hope that biologist got helped. Did he end up up in here? That's a wounded guard. Oh, that medic's healing the... Is that the biologist? Yes, it is. Kyle Smith. He did make it. Oh, we are happy. Okay, hopefully these are actually colonists this time. It's a much smaller ship, too. That was a big pile of intruders. Well, we need to figure our stuff out. Go. A medic and a biologist? Okay, so... 
Uh, well, one more medic is good. So I'll take that to five. And I'll just stick with this. And we'll leave that one pad on. Oh my god, that was terrifying. So we have no semiconductors. I better open up to trade. I better open up to trade, man. I better open up to trade and switch on my other pad here as well. I can send away traders that come to it, whatever, right? Okay, bioplastic is back up a bit. We did get the extra bunks in. Maybe I should hammer more bunks so it'll send me more colonists, right? Probably, that's a thing. I'm gonna guess that's a thing. Let's just dump them in. Aw, oh, you... Mean game, you. Like, what the hell? That is the way it is, but still, what the hell? Alright, let's dump some bugs in. I uh, know, I'm wasting bio plastic that I don't have. But, uh, and then I don't get to have that one. Oh, that's okay, though. It's totally fine. Good lord. Did we ever just get our butts kicked, eh? Dread fuel. Dread fuel. I guess we did need that medic. Uh, okay. Medical plants are okay. Starch is there. But it's not bloody brilliant. Ore is down. Oh, because we had the alert, right? Yeah, with, t with four driller bots cranking and one out spare. We should be okay. So really the next big priority is getting some semiconductors together. And they are getting together, so we will, and they will get prioritized to builds. So pop to the robotics facility, and oh, and uh, whoa, hold on, where am I? Where's this damn ship, you? Oh, it's Trader. Uh, unless he's got something we want to buy with money, we should send him away. Uh, we want to buy that semiconductor, we want to buy that bioplastic. I think we're going to be okay on steel. We will just do this with money. Yeah, it's worth it this time. Uh, hold on. Is there anything else? Like, do we really want to pay for a gun? It's expensive. Can we afford it? We kind of nice to get a gun. Uh, forget it, or buy the gun? Uh, we can start trading for money soon enough. Yeah, it's true, we can start trading for money soon enough. Oh, value 280? No, we can't do it. Oh, look at that. We got it right. Okay, perfect. Uh, we're done here. Thanks for the stuff. We needed it. Now, let's keep that speed down and get back to that bot facility. Right here. And pop. And so we need bot auto repairs. We need at least two of them. Start with two and work from there, so. Oh, good. Please, no enemy. Please, no enemy. I got my finger on the three key, and thanks again for the uh, alert tip, rock guy. Now we got two biologists and a guard to replace our dead guard. So I'm going to say that's pretty good, and I'm going to parameterize up to engineer here. Well, we will have a little on biologist still. Yeah, I'll do something like that. Do something like that. And uh, maybe actually we'll go with that. And that. And that. And that. And that. And that doesn't leave any percents for anyone else. So they both get five. And then we take that down, take that up. Oh my god, what? I hate the way this is. <laughs> this is so tricky right now. Alright, I'm gonna say that's good. I'm just gonna leave it alone, okay? I'm just gonna leave it alone. We can handle the extra bodies. We just need these things built and dealt with. But we do actually kind of need some workers. And let's go with like that. Yeah, let's go with like that. And let's quick save on that. So we do actually need some workers. We're going to be okay on other things for now. Meals are a bit dumpy. Um, and I built a bar instead of a canteen. Clever. Uh, kind of could use a canteen in this area as well. So, might dump this turbine. 
and do that right about now. So that means we do replace the turbine, mind you. So outdoor structures, turbine, well, we want it where it can be maintained. But we do want to build base all through this area. So this will be our furthest reaching turbine, I guess. That's as far as we'll actually build power system out. And now I'm going to go rip this one down right now. Pop. Should be good. Now I want to put in a canteen, please. There it is. Let's see if I can fit a big one. I might have to wait until they get rid of all that stuff for me, though. I guess I might. Yeah, it's not going to let me place Deedle. That's okay. We'll let them deal with that. And we will dump some food production in. We're going to need more vitro meat. That much is plain. Uh, we're going to need more everything. Ah, uh, here we are. We're on this pad, and it is a colonist ship. We just lost a driller bot. Oh, that's a bit of a downer, frankly. And what do we got here? Two workers. Quite good. Okay, I'm starting to be pretty pleased with that. I wonder if those extra biologists were really enough. It's a good question. No, they weren't. So let's go for one more fast load of biologists. Like, totally. Like that. And then we'll give some to those guys. Like that sort of thing. Like that. Yeah, okay, like that. That's how we do it for now. Okay, good, we'll save on that. We are getting more colonists in, probably than we have beds or food for right now, but I'm not going to stress, we can pull it off. We did throw in some more beds. Ah, oh, yes, now this canteen needs to go in. Oops, ah, grangle. Well, that's okay, they hadn't pulled off that last piece of steel yet anyways. Let's hope they do. Let's hope they do, but anyway... Does it go in now? Yes, it does. My golly, it just has these beautiful connections. I wonder if I could do all three. That'd be so sexy. That is sexy. That is incredibly sexy. I really like that. That's going to cost a lot to build. That's okay. That's really cool. Mm. Now, if only I could just slap an airlock right there. A right there lock would be the perfect airlock, but it's okay. The way it is, and I wonder if I could slip a tiny dorm onto here. Somehow? You know, like, somewhere in this mess, can I slip a tiny dorm? That'd be ultra swag. The tiny dorm is actually a little bigger than anticipated, so... I think I'll shut down... Well, I won't shut down the far pad, but I'm going to keep speed down, that's for sure. So it would be nice to have a dorm in this area as well, so actually... That water extractor could become a dorm, except I don't think anyone can reach those items ever again. So, if they get hit by a meteor, I'm going to be completely screwed. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, I may have to figure out a way to deal with that at some point. Or just really crank our meteor defenses. A trader's landing, good. Two medics when I've got medic on f 10 percent and oh, Lord. Okay, all right, we'll do it like this now. Let's pop over here. Hello. Ooh, semiconductors. We like them. Looks like we successfully made some. Uh, yeah, we don't have much to sell or pay with. We're not buying bots, but we do want those semiconductors. However, that's really expensive. However, that's really valuable. Um, so they only have to haul six items for three semiconductors. I think I'll make that deal. That should be fine. That seems decent. Um, what are my percentages right now? This is nuts. Trying to pull in biologists. Uh, I really want another bit of guards, too. 
Well, I'm, I like the percentages the way they are. I'm just not loving what the game's doing to me. So we've got a big storage there. We may need more storage in this place. We've got the bar there. Uh, we've really got an issue here where I might almost need to remove these items and replace them with stuff that can be repaired internally. Uh, there's no way to... Oh my god, dude, there's no way to even carry the steel out. So, yeah. There's no way to even carry the steel out, and I do want that cross-connection happening, so... Wind turbine built, structures built, so I'm gonna need a scoop and a water extractor. So, let's go build those things. As far away as we conceivably can, let's pray a ship doesn't land. Well, they're still feeding the trader, so... Let's try and hide these scope and water extractors out in this back farm zone, so... First things first, the scope. It'll be a scoop. Like that, and we'll just pop it on, and then we need a big water extractor if we can fit one. And, uh, yeah, it looks like I had a green spot for a second there, eh? No, I did have it for a sec. Ah. Ah. Oh, there we are. Done. Got those. So we're gonna go ahead and rip these down right now. Done. Didn't get a lot back from them, but that's okay. We are gonna build a large dorm or something like that in here. Gonna have to wait for them to clear it, basically. Gonna have to wait for them to clear it. And here's probably the last ship we'll let land for a bit, and let's hope it's not attackers, eh? Because everyone's super busy. There goes the trader. It isn't. It's a biologist and a guard. Okay, let's take it to biologist 100, engineer 15, like that. We're going to go ahead and attempt to take on more colonists. We're just tanking up right now, but I think we can do it. I'm not seeing food drop into the absolute trash pile, so I think I'm going to go ahead and get some more beds going on. Oops. Use that shift key. Oh, that was the ship taking off, not landing. We're safe here. And we just did those out, and we are going to build a new dorm out this way, so we'll see. And of course, then we've asked for these structures way the hell out in the death farm. Please don't run out of O2, right? Looks like they won't. We'll have to leave expanding this area for a bit, though. I do want to extend the base up into there, so... In the meantime, we really need to replace our destroyed structures, so... They're just gonna grab all that steel up and do that. That's brilliant. And then we decide what we're doing in here, which is probably just a dorm. This is the... Oh my god, no, no, speed, speed, speed. Okay. One biologist. Alright then. You know what? I know when I'm licked. And I'll kill this pad, too. I'll just be open to traitors and interspatial crash victims for the moment, so... That'll be cool. Yeah, that might be a little low oxygen until we get that built out. Boy, this is all getting really tricky. Yeah, that might be a lot low oxygen until we get that connect built out. Now, where was I in here? Can I seriously not get an airlock in there, eh? Oh my god, look. I seriously can, too. You know? That means I could probably get a dorm in there, or something else, too. Now that you mentioned it. Although, I'm gonna say maybe not. Oh, there's still one steel to grab out there, so good, good. He's got semiconductors. Well, we want semiconductors really bad, so we're going to go ahead and trade some stuff. Leave those veg alone. That really just adds up like a beast, eh? It's nice. 40% commission isn't the worst in the game. 
And again, it's six minutes down. Of course, without bioplastics, we are going to run out of meds. So go ahead, kill that pad. Because without bioplastics, we are going to run out of meds, and we're going to use up all the bioplastics. Okay, maximum speed because we got the pads off. And we are in a bit of a. You know, the biggest risk right now is meteors. Let's see if we got that telescope in. No. Let's see if he's going to die. Please don't die, little worker. Auto extractor is up. Oh my god, look at the O2. Oh my god, get in the base. That is not healthy. They're going to be fine. Oh my god, what about this one? Their O2 is not great either, and they path to the other airlock because busy. Oh, danger, danger, eh? Yeah, that's why we need that closer airlock. Looks like everything's up. Those power collectors are empty. Let's check our grid. We are okay. Everything should fill up, I guess. Pretty good. Okay, so we're good. Uh, let's drop the speed again for a minute. As if we do have an imbalance, it'll start to show when the speed's at max. I think we're, I think we're solid. I think we're solid. We don't have what it takes to produce guns. Let's check our bot fleet's current status. It's probably taking a beating from all this. 25 carrier bots and 9 constructors. Well, they're doing a good job with the bots. That's for sure. And having that extra self-repair facility won't hurt. Oh, for golly's sake. Really, eh? That sucks. Horse doodle. That sucks. Horse doodle. But, you know, the connection's better the way it is, so just destroy these items. That's fine. God damn it. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. So, in here, yo. Uh, first we need to build what we're building, and then we need to put in the connection, basically. So, it's gonna be a dorm. If I can fit it. Okay, I can fit a little dorm right there. Uh, which side's closer to the O2 maker? Oh, they're about equal, so... I'll go ahead and put the load on this, because there'll probably be no one in the factory at night. And let's see if we can get another little dorm in. Uh, that, you know, actually, maybe we can try for a big dorm. Let's just see if we can squeeze one in before we give up. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say it's going to have to be a little dorm, but it could be way up here. So actually, that goes close enough to an O2 generator right there. And now let's pull out another little dorm. And just see, yeah, yeah, it's going to happen. So we'll pop that on there. Or no, reset. Oh, yeah, no, that's good actually. And then we do that, but not yet. We just have to wait for those two mini dorms to build. We will not attempt to furnish or build anything else right now. I think storage production is going to hold. It seems like people aren't necessarily reporting to the sick bay with malnutrition. At least not that we're seeing in any numbers. We're probably a little short of sick bay space at this stage. Oh, we lost a carrier bot. However, okay, biology is looking in decent order, frankly. Yeah, I'm going to say biology's in decent nick. They're functioning. Wow, this is nuts. We do have our three scopes, and I guess we probably have enough engineers to man them as long as we don't keep asking for endless psycho builds. And we really need a further airlock really badly to maintain those items. But as long as we don't do any more builds in the gully of death here, probably won't run into any asphyxiates. I do have five steel, and that makes me kind of hot to build a collector. I wonder if I can get one in here. Would it let me? I mean, we really are on the edge of the map here. I don't think it's going to let me. <laughs> I don't think it'll let me. Sorry, scope coverage is good. No, it's not going to let me. That's okay. we got enough for now. We'll hold. Because we do have enough power production for everything. Okay, we'll go up to maximum speed again, because we're not going under. It's a thing. Those extra semiconductors we've been able to buy have been really great, but I think we shouldn't trade for a bit. We've kind of blown out what we can do. And as soon as those are built, we can build the final connector, because as far as I know, structures aren't destroyed by meter strikes, and they're rebuilt from inside, so... 
should work out. And yeah, we'll try to give those guys more bot repair facilities, but right now getting this link built is really going to help the base. And then of course we'll get those canteens in and stuff, which should work. But we are going to have to work on getting more production going, for sure. You know, that probably isn't the right ratio of stuff. It probably just isn't the right ratio of stuff. There are specific recipes on the internet where it's like, this is what you shall build to be wise, so... I'm on all. Maybe I should put more drinking fountains in. I want to leave it alone. We need that bioplastic coming to make other stuff with really badly, so... Okay, we'll make sure these guys are fully built and the constructors are fully out of there. And then we lay this one in as soon as they're done, and if they build themselves in, we scream. So, actually, we sit here and hound this. We have nine. We sit here and hound this, and if they build themselves in, we scream. Hopefully they won't, because the airlocks are both on the other side in terms of their access. We do have the materials to make this connection, so it should go up quite quickly. I hope. Oh, a worker working the mine. That's bad. Are we down uh, to three driller bots or something? Oh, well, one always has to have maintenance. See, there's always that risk that the little idiots will go the wrong way. We'll just F9 as each thing comes on to here. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we need to exit. Yes. And load. I don't know how you quick load, so... Just grab that. And, uh, yeah, that's... Really annoying. I could just recycle the constructor bot, but that's really expensive, so. Is there a forbid button? I'm not sure. He's just gonna do it again, 100. He's just gonna do it again, 100. Okay, if that constructor bot does it, if it does that again, I'm recycling the constructor bot. Okay? That's what's gonna happen. I will simply recycle it instead of letting it, letting it expire out there. I'll destroy it personally. And I think we're going to see the identical pattern of events unless I introduce a variable. Oh, maybe the game introduced a variable. I don't think a person brought that last time, actually. Okay, does that mean now a person's going to come and build themselves into the goddamn thing? Let's just see what happens, right? I'm very curious. Yeah, nothing's coming to build it now, eh? Oh, here comes the thing. Don't do it. It didn't do it. I'm so happy that I'm saving him. That's awesome. It didn't do it. Nothing built itself into there. So that area ought to work now, actually. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> so we need bioplastic and steel to bounce back. Um... Rock guy mentioned that steel seems to go into everything except semiconductors first. And they sure do prioritize builds, and I guess they're probably prioritizing other stuff too. Like a lot of other stuff. We could technically start trading again here. We do have a bit of meds come built up. I uh, really want that bioplastic coming up. I might. I'm not sure. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff now. We could use more storage on this base. That much is true, but... I'm uh, not going to stress. Let's see how happiness is doing. Much better. Bot fleet is okay. We are down a driller bot. But it's that semiconductor shortage, so we just have to let everything recover. We have to let everything recover. It looks like we're feeding everyone. We will load up that canteen and power up this biodome pretty shortly. And why have we got tops on? Oh, because we uh, reloaded. Oh, sandstorm detected. Now, with that telescope coverage staying at 97, I can leave that. Oh, just forget it. You know, there could be people way out doing maintenance on super distant crap, so. Let's check the grid. Ah, uh, we're not filling up our storage. Oh, yes, we are. I was just going to say, which indicates that you have enough storage. But, uh... Anyway, we are filling up our storage. Water's good. Oxygen's good. We're good. It's only at level 2 alert, right? Okay. 
So we have to start uncorking the limit on guns and stuff pretty soon. But right now we've only got five ore in house to work with, and we got our problems to deal with that we have. So yeah, it's all a bit of a thing. It's all a bit of a thing. And yeah, we don't have the bioplastic to furnish any of this stuff. I am going to put a couple extra beds in for comfort's sake. Just to make it a little easier for people. Especially... Oh, 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 right. Oh, damn. That was not what I intended to do. I meant to put two in each. And I'm like wandering around, clicking on random crap. That's okay. There we go. Two in that one, three in the other. I know, we don't have the bioplastic, but uh, I think I want to get this stuff at least slightly going. So they have at least some use of it. I don't know if I'll ever end up building on that side. Let's put the thing there. You know, more water fountains would not be a bad plan for us either. It's the absolute truth. Uh, let's do the one seat. See, you get a little carried away furnishing these things out, usually, eh? Yeah, you kind of do. Like, we haven't put any veg production in, we haven't put any more food production in, what am I doing, right? Well, I guess what I'm doing is calling for stuff in a Mad Frenzy the way I always do. So, we'll put in two machines, and a couple tables, and definitely a water fountain in this one as well. And this can also get a plant. And another TV there. And then we're going to need to get some food production in here. So we're going to put in wheat, uh, rice, uh, GM tomato, GM onion, and uh, what? Mushrooms. Why not? Mushrooms. One mushrooms. And we're going to put in an oak tree and a pine tree. I'll leave that alone for the moment. That's enough, basically. The music stopped with the sandstorm hasn't... God, they are, they are just crowning that together. Okay, biology's having a rough time, so we're gonna go colonist. And biologist... 100%. Take the alert off. And... My dishwasher's still beeping. That's incredible. It is insistent. Well, it'll be fine. I just ran a cleaning cycle on it, so there's no dishes in it that are going to be an issue or anything. Okay, pads are open, and I just want biologists because food, so... Yeah, we're going to need that meat production. I think we're good on everything else, so... And we really need those driller bots built. Bit of a thing. Anyway, I'm glad we're getting that stuff going. We kind of need it. Whoa, hello. It's a uh, trader. Okay, what's he got? He has spares and a gun. We'd love to have a gun, eh? That bioplastic wouldn't hurt. That bioplastic wouldn't hurt. How much does it cost? Quite a bit. 50% commission, quite expensive. Oh, look, that's exactly... So, five bioplastic for three minutes, done, it's a deal. You're on, it's a deal, basically. You're on. So, we need that bioplastic pretty painfully right now. Oh, well, that should help a little, I guess. Yeah, because these mills aren't loaded, so having starch production over here is good. Oh, hello. Don't be enemies now. Nope, a pair of biology stoves. So we'll just throw our percentages around a little ways like that. And uh, yeah, we'll put some on that. Uh, yeah, we'll actually go ahead with that. Uh, where we go with that? Like, uh, I just don't even know, okay? Anyway, we're gonna turn colonists off. We're gonna, that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna turn colonists off. We got those two biologists. We're gonna hope that's enough uh, staff up for us. 
And as soon as we get a chance to, we're going to unlock gun production. We're just not quite there yet. Biology's going to hack it now. <coughs> I think two more biologists should be enough to pull it together for us. What do we got here? Chicken, beef, and pork. Just a straight mix? Should I put in another beef maker over here? Well, to tell you the honest, there's just this one canteen. Oh, that's a drinks machine. There's food here and no canteen. Oh, here's the canteen. I'm an idiot. And let's see what we're doing here. No, it's basic meals. Kind of sucks, so. Oh, I got a burger in there. That's good, so. It's going to work out. Yeah, there's just enough food production in there to do it. Maybe we could throw one more meat in there. Or a wheat. Yeah, I think that's only a maze. Oh, it is a wheat. Okay, so maybe if I pull two mushrooms and put in some kind of high production units, like a GM onion. Like that. And we won't bother putting in a rice up there. Uh, will the one wheat do it, though? Uh, maybe that's a mistake. I oh, know, because didn't we just put in rice? No, I didn't, did I? I put in GM onion only. What I should do is probably put in rice as well. Just let's do it. Uh, yeah, where is it? Let's do it, let's do it, let's put in rice. Okay, we put in rice. That was what this episode was originally supposed to be about, was, uh, you know, if we're trading only, we'll kill the backpack. This episode was actually only supposed to be about revamping food production, and that's the one thing I did not get done at all during this episode, was revamp food production. I think it's a good idea to get those drinking fountains in. The rest of this mess is a disaster. They built the trees nice and quick, anyways. And the robots are going to get use of that bot facility for sure. That was actually a big goal, was to get that up and going. So that storage isn't murdered. We've got another big storage somewhere. Oh god, where? It's way out here. Oh, speed, speed, speed. Uh, trading ship. Hello. Ah, good. Hello. Semiconductors, we like it, basically. <laughs> um, I think I could actually buy one of his driller bots as well. Maybe I should buy one of his constructor bots. I think not. But we really need those semiconductors and stuff. And our bioplastic production sucks. Maybe pushing the starch into that new thing will help, so. Uh, yeah, Jesus. You know, honestly, our ore production is fine. Uh, no kidding here. I don't necessarily need to... Uh, in fact, uh, let's take a little money off him. Yeah, sure. Let's take a little money off him. Our ore situation's fine. We don't really need to buy that driller bot. Let's check our bot fleet right now. Poot, poot. Okay, 29.82. Oh, I wish I'd bought that driller bot. Okay, so bot manufacturing check here. So, that's a carrier. That's a carrier, and they are definitely not happening right now with the lack of semiconductors. Spares are holding just fine. I'm going to pull a spares workshop and replace it with a semiconductor foundry right now. Like that, because uh, spares are fine. Spares haven't been a big issue. Uh, yeah, so we've got way extra food production over here, but it's not going in storage, so they are getting it trucked away. That's good. Uh, you know, it'd be really nice to have a link between these. That's sort of a necessary place for an airlock, though. We kind of need it. Sure would be nice to have a link between these sectors. If only it was possible. Oh, it doesn't seem to be. That's annoying. Oh, sick bays only have one link up. That's right. Yeah, it'd be really booster to have a proper link between those sectors. It's a bit lengthy for them. We don't want commuting 
Not more commuting, it's an issue. What's this out here? Meal maker, not getting s fed enough stuff. There's no. F well, there is food production near it. There's no lab near it making meat, though, so. Maybe this would be a good spot to start a lab. Now we're gonna need another air maker first, so. We are sticking with the small ones. We're gonna bang this small O2 maker on here. And then we're gonna bang a lab onto it. I think that's the way to go with that. Because we can grow medical supplies there too. So that. We'll just do that for now. <clears throat> That's all I'm going to ask for. That's all I'm going to ask for is that. And they can pull that off. And yeah, there's bot self-maintenance near there too, which is kind of bonus. So we got three semiconductors. Yay, big deal. Well, I got another semiconductor foundry going, so that's actually a bonus. Now we just need bioplastic production to stop being a complete tankosaurus. They did get this trash built, though. So we've got some starch coming in from there, so that's a boost. That should help these start to work, basically. Because, yeah, they're not getting fed. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. I'm not going to uncork uh, weapon production yet, eh? Not going to uncork weapon production yet. I think we're solid on bots. Well, n no, I was wishing I'd bought the driller bot. Oh, but ore is okay. Oh, but workers are probably doing it. Let's get the driller bot. Uh, we'll forget the spares. We'll buy the gun. We're fine on food. We're going to pay for this with our dwindling medical supplies for the most part. Kind of have to. don't really want to sell other stuff. I guess I can sell this extra veg. It's a bit of extra loading for them, though, you know, so... Let's throw another one of those in, and then just pound the coin to it. That's painful. Oh, let's go back here. Just want to overpay. I suppose it would be classy to always overpay by one cent, eh? What if you get prestige for that? Probably 35% commission is great, so we're actually getting an okay deal on this crap. But they're not selling bioplastic trade. We're happy with the trade. It's not going to be a disaster. You know, if we tore this airlock out, we could simply stick another one on there. Uh, well, what would be the point of that? Might look better, but other than that, what the hell would be the point? We probably need more meteor lasers, but I am not willing to spend it just yet. We do have some, like, we've got some laser coverage. We're not a disaster. Looks like our radio dish isn't necessarily manned. Yeah, we've got some laser coverage. It's not a disaster. You know, it's here in the center that we actually lack the most laser coverage. And we do have... We're okay, actually. I think we're pretty good on laser coverage. Okay, so let's just see. How did this all fly down here? Should we be jacking meat production up here again? If we can, let's... Let's go ahead and pop that right in. And... Uh, we'll just leave that bad boy on chicken, I guess. Okay. Although beef is a thing, but uh, we'll leave that bad boy on chicken. And we got some food coming in there. Not a lot, but uh, enough for now. And we do have... Uh, we do have two starch sources here, do we? Rice and wheat, yes. We do have two starch sources there, so that's good. And, whoop, it's hopefully not a raider. It's a trading ship, indeed. What's he got? He's got a semiconductor, which we are desperately hungry to have. We are a bit low on medical supplies. I'm sort of not wanting to sell them. I really want the semiconductor. Uh, why have we got all these extra vegetables? I don't really understand that. Whoa, hold the fort here. I don't really understand why we've got extra vegetables all of a sudden. Oh, because I built more capacity. Okay, well that means, uh, where's that canteen? Where's that new canteen at? Oh my 
god, yeah, I'll get lost in this place pretty quick. I think I'm upside down or something. Yeah, I am. I'm upside down. Here we go. So this must be the new canteen. No, that's the new bar. Here's the new canteen. Let's go ahead and throw a third food maker in it right now. And that's fun, we won't worry about whatever else we're doing. And let's go ahead and throw a third drinks machine in here too. Sad people all around. Let's get some more tables in. Get this place a bit convivial, you know. Here's where the solo artists can sit. And uh, TVs. Lots of them. Let's make it, you know, a bit exciting in here. Add a bit of excitement to the place, make it nicer. Can we fit that there? Sure we can. Can we fit another drinks machine in anywhere? Probably not. It's okay, three'll do. Actually three six nine, so three six nine. You know probably got more seats than I need in the place. TBH, I could probably ditch one of those single seats. Just lose that. And put in another drinking fountain where it was, cause drinking fountains. Yeah, okay. It's a watering hole. Ha ha. Let's get some more beds in. Yeah, comforts of home and more food and stuff. Meals are holding. Meat's a bit dumpy. Meat's a bit dumpy, I gotta say. And uh, y there really is an art to putting the full number of uh, beds in those. There really is an art to putting the full number of beds in those. And no, I should not be uh, spending bioplastic on this either, but uh, it is what it is. We got some semiconductors out of him anyway. Ah, uh, we don't need the more bot facility repair there. We do want that bar cranked out. We should put another table or two in this canteen. Uh, right there. Put another thing there. Another thing there. I know we don't have what it takes to do this. I'm being a fool, essentially. That's okay. We really need that happy boost really bad. The colonists needed to feel better. Okay, meat's not totally dumping. Meat's not totally dumping. We're not seeing malnutrition cases, so let's not stress. Okay, promising next episode will be uh, more about getting food production sorticated. And with all those plastics mills there, we can put one more starch producer in, and it's going to be a potato. Because we can do that. We can do that, and we have no bioplastic. That's terrible. But of course we have no bioplastic. We just called for a thousand builds. Anyway, everything's holding. That is such a useless place for a storage. What the hell? But you know, maybe one day it won't be. Maybe one day it won't be. I don't know why that storage is there. I suppose... It's not completely distant from this airlock, so that's a thing. There's room for more beds in there too, but I'm not doing it. We just don't have the resources right now, so... Uh, he's got starch. Uh, you know, I think we're just gonna... probably do nothing on this one. I think we'll kill the pads. Or actually, no, I think what we'll do is we'll turn off everything so that only emergency people or raiders can come. We'll turn on the pads, because that's nicer, I like it. I prefer them on, especially because it also helps you make sure your power system is balanced. Let's go ahead and put another TV in here. Yeah, why not? One more TV. Oh, the potato pad's not getting built, eh? That's depressing. Poor biology. I think they're doing okay, though. I think biology's holding it together. Also, we could actually push for more starch production in there, too, as well. So maybe I should be doing that. We really need meat production to hold out up here. We can actually jack meat production from there, so no, that's not a problem. 
Looks like scopes and radios don't get mad as good at night. Oh look, we got three scopes all in a ball. And a fourth scope. Have we really got four scope desks? I think we do, because I think they're all manned right now. One, two, three manned, fourth manned. So yeah, we got the scope desks. And yeah, that's cool. So uncorking guns is our next priority. And bioplastics the barrier. But it looks like we're going to catch up on it pretty quick. Because look how quick they built all this junk. Now let's check everyone's happiness. Ah, much better. Our prestige is doggling between 360 and 361. Well, then 362. I wonder what that's about. Oh, it's about how much stuff we have, of course. It's about how rich we are, essentially. As well as how decorated we are and how happy we are. Well, I don't know if how happy we are figures into prestige. Probably not. Corporate management doesn't care about that. Look, actual vitro meat in storage. Okay, we know we're good. That is sweet. And yeah, meat and veg are even. Drinks are up. There's lots in house. Starch is up. That's going to be good. Meds got to keep going. Where's the new lab? Let's go ahead and put a medicinal plant pad in here since we've got possible overproduction of veg here. Well, that is a medicinal pad. Oh, that is a lab. Oh. Wait a minute, am I in the wrong end of the colony? Yes. It's way over here? No, it's way over here. Oh my god, yo. Where's my new lab? Didn't I just build a nice new lab somewhere? Where's my new lab? Help me here, people. I am lost. Here's my new lab. Okay, so the biodome here, is it growing any medicinals? Not necessarily, so we're going to go ahead and yank a mushroom. Yes, and we'll put everyone on yellow. And we're going to go ahead and throw a medicinal in. Right there. And then we're going to get down to our nice new lab, which will have to go that way, so we'll stay off that edge of it. We're going to go ahead and put in that, and that in there, because we may get more medics in the end and whatever, you know, it's a place to store things, right? I suppose we could put more hospital space down here, it's a thought. We might be a little short of hospital space in the end. Well, we'll deal with that when we come to it, right? I mean, we don't even have enough meds in storage to respectively have a hospital, so... And do we need more vitro meat for this end? What kind of meals have we got? Basic, 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 basic. It sucks. Basic, basic, what the hell? Oh uh, yeah, I think we're gonna put some vitro meat in here and, uh, right away, too. And it won't just be chicken. Okay, I better stay off there, actually. Take that one out. I'll stay on this wall. I'll put three in. I'm going to go ahead and put three in. And we're going to make sure there's some wheat in here. There is. And some GM tomato. There is. So that's good because that's the burger recipe. Sweet GM tomato and beef, right? So that's what we're going to do. Let's check our grid during the sandstorm. It's kind of a good thing to do. We are not filling our storage. We need power generation. We're short solar. We need to jack solar out right now. Okay, so we don't want it too far away. It's going to have to... Uh, I guess this is where it goes. Solar panel mega size. Swing around here. We're going to need this real bad right away. Oh, you pooter. You pooter. Okay, okay, there we go. Clang, clang, clap. Throw that on now. We really need another airlock out here as well. This is uncouth. So I'm not really sure how to do that. I don't have what it takes to do it, so we're just going to have to risk it. Anyway, we got the steel for that unit, because, uh, yeah, that grid check came up bad. Yep. Yeah. 
I think our power system was probably about to fall apart. Because we're making max wind right now and we're still under, eh? Yeah, we're making max wind and we're still under, right? Oh no, I guess solar was partly disabled due to the sandstorm. However, our collection system is not full, so... No, I won't be sad to throw another solar in. I think they use less spares, too. Hopefully we won't have an airlock issue. Hopefully they can actually line up at the airlock. Whoa, did someone drop their steel? No. Look at them go. Look at them go, little guys. Here's this guy. They're not happy. No, well, they're not happy. Well, it is an awfully long walk. How's their O2 getting anywhere near Bingo? No, miles from Bingo. They're tired, too. Is there any dormillage for them? Oh, yeah. I'm sure there is. And it looks like there is food in these meal makers. Bloody basics, basics, basics again, eh? Bit of a disaster. We're not getting the mixed mealage in there. Uh, there's no GM tomato in here. Or maybe there's just not enough. Maybe there's just not enough. Let's go ahead and throw some, uh, well, let's go for... I don't know, let's go for a freaking radish pad? Oh no, it gives starch. I don't know, that's what it takes. Let's put a radish pad in, because the biologists are having a hell, a hell time with this. Okay, the meat in the new lab. Oh god, everything is a disaster. Okay, the meat in the new lab. Where are we? Oh no, not again. Search for the lab, search for the lab. Here we are. Alright, so meat in that, go peef. Meat in that, go peef. We'll leave the other one on chicken and, you know, later we'll... Is that Billy? Hey, hey dude, are you Billy? It's hard to tell. It's one of Billy's soldier clone relatives. and He's working hard on the, uh... Working hard on the formulations there. Oh god, what a mess. Ah, but when these two link together, we'll have valuable connectivity achieved, right? We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're going to have a nice big population one day, too. I mean, right now... Oh, let's check up our fleet out. So we're holding at 30 carriers and 4 drillers right now. I think that's acceptable. I think we're good. We could use more guards. Um, do we have our wish of uncorking uh, thingy production? No, we bloody don't. But if I hadn't wrecked uh, bioplastic like this, we wouldn't be having any problems at all. Ore is a little slow, but steel is massive. We're good. I could even shut down a steel plant. I could even shut down a steel processing plant, actually, considering that ore is staying pretty low. I don't think I'll do that. I think what we'll do is we'll watch nightfall from one of our new pleasant locations here. Are people using this bad boy? Let's come in here. Let's just check this out. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Can't really click people in here, so that's a shame. But yeah, no, they're using it alright. That's good. That's happy times. That's awesome. Oh, and he's unhappy, too. Well, I hope it gives a good happiness bonus to him to use the thing. How's our stats on that again? Ooh, they've dropped. They've dropped. Our stats are down on pleasure. Oh, and drinks have dropped. We need more booze. And we need better meals. Oh, my God. What the hell, yo? We need better meals. Maybe there should be two wheat in here. Pull that out and put a wheat in. Of course, nothing's getting freaking built. Let's just put the wheat in and let's switch any local Vitra meat to beef. We just want those burgers, right? But where is the local Vitra meat? It's miles away. So we got chicken, chicken, so that goes to beef. That's good. We're done. Oh, and but those are meal makers. Oh, shh. No wonder that canteen's only got basics in it, eh? There's no meat production near enough. Oh, snap. We don't have a lab serving that. 
purpose close enough. This is the totally medical lab, so we're going to just delete, because we did put in two more of these. So we're going to delete two of these out from here. And then we're going to go ahead and put in some vitramine units instead and get that meat production cranking really fast. Oops, I should have held shift down there. Now I could kind of cheat and squash them in. Well, I think I kind of will. Oh no, I kind of won't. So I'll kind of just push that and don't cheat. Just put it so it looks nice. One there. And then let's just get those built really quick, shall we? Whoa, hello. Yeah, let's get those built as quick as we can. Check our grid again. Okay, I think power's okay. I think we're okay, water's okay, oxygen's okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, that immediately goes beef. For biology, they're having a bad time. And we'll put that one to pork. Come on, little guy. Come on, little guy. Oh, I see his friends doing it. And we're gonna put that one to beef. It's okay, enough chicken in here, man. Oh, what's this one on? Chicken, good, good. Good, I feel good. Alright, we really needed to do that. Biology's gonna be miserable. That's tough on them. Meds are pulling back up nicely. Medical plants are staying down. I do want more biologists basically right now, so uh I just want biology. Quick. Give me some. I got food. I just need someone to make the food, so Oh uh yes, wounded soldiers. Come on in. Let's check them out. Oh, there they go. Just three. They'll be fine. We got enough meds for three. What I want is another ship landing, but I can't even find my pad. I'm getting disoriented with this base. Right, I was at the back pad, that's why. Oh, okay, here we are. Pliss no raider. I'm ready on the alert button, though. Yep, it's raiders. I could kill both those things, but... Well, let's kill this one. Oh no, let's, maybe I should turn it back on. Oh no, because he'll go back in this way then and probably get shot more easily by people that are going to get armed in here, so. And, okay, so it's true the air makers detect them. It's true that the air makers detect them. Why doesn't this guard get up from his frickin' console? Dude, chuckles. Get up. Everyone in that room should have grabbed a gun by now. Where's the other intruder at, I wonder? You know, I don't even know where the other one went. Interesting. There is another one. We didn't get them both, man. Got them. We do have someone hurt here. Guard, how bad? Oh, not bad, not bad. Light wounds. Okay, we'll kill the alert. That's both intruders down. That's those chumps taken care of. Six wounded soldiers. I thought there were only three. Yeah, that's not the enemy visitor ship. Now, you don't usually get raided twice in a row like that. We are getting enough uh, prestige to start to suck that way. Oh, snap. Turn that airlock on. Someone could get hurt. You need those airlocks on. Okay, I'm not... Oh, snap. Oh, it's a huge colonist ship. Oh, my God. They must have detected that we needed many biologists. Two. Two. We'll have to content ourselves with two. In that case. All right. We're going to turn off colonist again for now. That's fine. You know what? A boost of two is a boost of good boosting. Uh, people are really unhappy. That's okay. They'll be okay. Alright, now let's check our manufacturing limits. So spares are at 20, that's brilliant, so we didn't need to worry about that. Semiconductors will never happen, and looks like we've got our good limits on that. Should we try for 10 constructor bots? Yes! No? Maybe so. Let's just leave it at 5. Uh, let's unlock guns and try to move them up to 30. 
the same as Carabots. If we can pull off that many uh, Carabots, we should be able to pound out that many guns. Wow, look at all those spares, man. Okay, that's a lot of spares. In a really small storage unit, that's okay then. Okay, Bioplastic has recovered. We're still not making enough semiconductors and we're still making plenty of spares. So where is that first one? Here it is. So That's the arms workshop already. This is getting pulled. Because we've got all those spares stored there, man. So we're going to put a semiconductor foundry in here. Like that. Because I think we're still going to churn enough spares. And if they go in the toilet, then we'll uh, fix the problem. But Well, that only leaves us with three spares mills. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, and they're not going to get used. Because it's only this thing that ever gets freaking used. It's only the other... Hey, the wounded soldiers paid nicely. Sweet. So it's only this one that ever gets used for deedly, basically. Yeah. Uh, okay, then I'm gonna have to leave spares in there, so... Yeah, I'm gonna have to leave spares in there. Damn it. No, I'm just... Well, it was a waste of materials for me here, but I'm gonna have to leave spares in there because... Essentially, like, item and worker pressure is not reaching this other factory very much. Yeah, it is. Those aren't getting loaded. Yeah, they're not getting loaded, even though there is quite a lot of stuff available. They're not getting loaded. Hmm, a bit annoying. And that's a bot doing that work, but you know, only five bots to cover that work. We might need more. Huh. It's difficult choices, eh? So these are just not getting loaded, even though they're... Oh, uh, yeah, those are getting loaded. Why are these... Oh, because spares bounced off their limiter. I'm an idiot. It's because spares bounced off their limiter. I'm so stupid. Thank God I didn't build this yet. I thought they didn't build that yet. Ah, I'm such a fool. Go ahead now. That one, yes, does get loaded first, but no, it's not as much of a problem as you thought it was. That's a lot of chicken, man. Like, that was really heavily chicken. Oh, I guess that was sort of the chicken wall. Okay, we'll put one back. Fine. We'll put one back. It's all good. Really trying on that. I hope those two extra biologists are enough. I think we're okay. We seem to be functional. We're maybe not making as much medicinal plants as we could. I'll pop one in here. I'll pop one in here since they have to work in here anyway. So we'll just pop one of those in there. We've got the bioplastic for it. In fact, we've got a lot of bioplastic. I could start trading. I kind of want to see us come up in balance first, though. And I'm actually seeing semiconductor production occurring for the first time here. That's something to celebrate, so I guess what we'll do is we'll go hoist one with the colonists here. Yeah, we'll go hoist one with the colonists. Look, they're all chilling. Two different types of medic there. That's really cool. Oh, did he just take stuff out of that machine? That's really weird. Why would you be doing that? Ooh, look at the roiling sky. That's really awesome. Oh, that guy's tired, but look at that. He can go straight. He's going to have a drink, and then he can go straight to bed in here, probably. And let's see if that's what he does. How long does it take them to drink a drink? That's the question. I mean, a normal human should take about 20 minutes or something for it. Especially since there aren't that many drinks available in the colony. Well, I don't know if that guy's going to head to bed in that dorm or not. But oh yeah, he will. He will. He'll head right to bed in that dorm. And that's the advantage of dorms. So that storage is running a little full. It's bioplastic building up in it. Okay, that's no problem. We can use the boost. We're good. And guns will come up now. Excellent. Uh, yeah, arms. Let's see if we can see the person working on it. 
Not really, no. We're definitely in a workshop here. It feels very crowded. Pretty awesome, though. Pretty cool. I don't think we've got any broken bits. I think everything on this colony works right now. We do have some interesting connectivity going on. And there's places where I wish I could get better connectivity, too. We did get this built. Yes, we did. So, just take a look at that grid again, quickly. Solid. It's not out of control. OP solid, eh? Like, it's definitely not out of control. OP solid. But it's solid, and so is water. So we're stuck with that little water extractor now, for now. And yeah, everything else around here is full-sized, and we weren't able to get rid of that very easily, so we're stuck with it. That's okay. And here's our little back farm. It's about as good as it's going to get. It's hidden, so we don't have to look at it. And it's low-maintenance, so we like it. And here's the long-shot view on the place. Two mines, definitely providing enough ore. Definitely got enough starch and bioplastic going on. We're a little low on medicinal plants. I could see maybe needing some more medicinal plants to come in. Uh, where's that big lab with all the med making in it? There's a big lab with a, you know, a lot of meds tables. Let's just pop one more medicinal pad in. That'll be our thing. And one more medicinal pad because I'm seeing biomeds down. And I bet they're getting used up the most in here. Yeah, they will be. Yeah, they will be, so. I wonder if there's room for a mid storage thing there. That's okay, we've got a good amount of mid storage cabinets here and there. Uh I do think we should probably look into a little more hospital space, eh? Maybe out this way. Well we do have a teeny tiny hospital there. But it might not be dumb to have another hospital maybe attached to the security if we can. I think it would fit out back here now. Oh my god, look at that. Okay, we're gonna have a mini hospital right there, I think. Yep. That'll be a little tricky for them to build, but they should be okay with it. Okay, uh, actually, you know what? I was about to kind of kill the episode because that's the way of it, but uh, you know something. I'm happy enough with how this is all going that I'm gonna go ahead and wait for that hospital to go in. There's our new medicinal pad, that's nice. Because that won't really take that long to get done. In fact, I think it'll be a robot build. And it won't take long. Oh, I wish that guy could have stayed and built it, eh? It's a waste of his time to have to go back. We could use a robot maintenance facility out in this end of the neck of the woods here. That'd be a good next expansion. Yeah, I gotta try to... Oh, I got another hospital here, do I? I just built another hospital, and I've got a hospital here. Okay, I'm an idiot. Uh, but that's okay. Let's get one of them med storage pods. And then let's start putting beds in. And let's bed up the other one, because it wasn't fully done out either. And then, can you fit one more med storage thing? Yeah, you can. So that's a good plan. And then this guy needs to get another couple beds in it, so let's get that done. This might not have been the primo place for a sick bay. I don't really know. Yeah, that might not have been the best place for a sick bay, frankly. It's okay, we'll leave it for the moment. And yeah, another robot facility out this way would be smart. Gotta figure out what we're doing with all that. Uh, yeah, it's all a bit questionable around this area. I have not thought this area through fully yet. I mean, that's a bit of extra serviceability for that. Medicinal plants are now holding. Uh, do we have any medicinal plant production there? Yeah, we do. So, But with two of these labs going on, oh, they're getting loaded. Sandstorm detected. Everybody goes to alert. How's our happiness? I just saw some sad people. Happiness is good, but not brilliant. So, some more happiness-related stuff out this way would probably hurt. 
Let's go ahead and uh, throw another TV screen in this bar if we can fit one here. Eh? Oh yeah, we got one there. Let's just see about that. Uh, that's the only one we're gonna get in, isn't it? Uh, that's okay. Well, we could. Oh yeah, we can get one right there. So that's a couple more happiness fixtures, and how about some more beds? Why not? Why not? Let's. And then it just won't let you. The beast, eh? The little brute. The little brute of a game. You have to be so slick to get that placed properly, man. Okay, so honestly, I should probably throw another vitro meat in there. Uh, no, meat's really cranking. Meat's really cranking. Let's just keep that uh, speed up. Uh, probably shut down the starports, really. But we don't have them open for anything. It's They're there for emergencies right now, so it's okay, right? Let's take a look at our grid right now. Power under. Even with this very, very high wind production, power's a little bit below what it could be, eh? Let's go tops on here. Yeah, awesome. Well, storm's over. Uh, I don't know why the music's still on. Freaky music. So top's on. Where's he going? Oh, spares are rating. Okay, bot fleet check. We are down to five constructors, and oddly we're up to six drillers. Meh. Fine. I guess they might have built two at once, sort of thing. So that's okay. Yeah, and uh, we now have... 14 guns are up a little bit. We're holding on semiconductors. So maybe I could go for 10 constructor bots. Let's go ahead. It'll take load off the engineers. Basically, it'll mean there's way less load on the engineers. So We'll go ahead with it. See if they can handle it. And, uh, yeah. Hope you guys can handle how confused I've been this whole episode. I was really uh, having a rough time. But I think there's a good amount of space for us to finish expanding our base in. It's looking like, yeah, that'll probably be the next join up. And it looks like everything's holding together. We don't have any mega disasters happening. The biologists are run off their feet, so we do want another dose of them. Uh, oh, don't do that could just take that dose of biologist right now and just pray that they aren't raiders, basically, eh? Let's... That... Before we're done here, let's take that one dose of biologists. In fact, let's throw guards into the mixture. Let's do 80-20, eh? Because I think the engineers are going to be able to keep up for now. We could use more guards. I think the medics can keep up. We seem to be really getting meds built up. And that's good, because we actually have a lot of small distributed hospitals, so those med containers need to stay full. So here we are. What do we get? Please don't raid me, right? It might, though. It might. No, we got two biologists. Okay, so we push it to 100% guards. And we uh, leave it rocking, because we've got the meals for those guys. We've got a fresh beer in-house ready for them. So we got our two biologists, that's a nice booster. And now if we could get a couple more guards, that'd be a nice booster. And then we'll start to think about more production. And you saw Meteor Land way in the distance. Oh, I'd love this game with a bigger map, but the pathing is already such a disaster, basically. Like, pathing's really harsh in this game. The only solution is to build a massively distributed base where everyone can work and sleep wherever they go. And we're, we're trying to do that a bit here, but uh, it is hard. Three guards. Liam Denisovich. Uh, can't click him. Oid. Cannot click him for some reason. They're getting difficult. Cleveland Lee. And, uh, can't click him without taking tops off, so we will. I think we missed him there. Cruz Cheney, that might be the new guy. And then they'll go pick up themselves some guns. We're gonna turn colonist off. 
So again, we're only open for emergencies. That's cool. I really want, I wish I could tilt up and see it fly higher, but or at least see it punch through the atmosphere. I think so. We got a lot of furnishing to do, a lot of figuring to do. We got a lot of work to do on this place, but it is functional. Semiconductors just died again. Well, that's the way it is for us. Maybe that's because I increased the bot limit. No. Basically, no. <laughs> Uh, one of those guards is still looking for a gun. There are guns in the base there. Got one. And yeah, biology's gonna have to hack it with just two extra staff. But that's what they get every time, is two extra staff. And look at those bioplastic mills. Churn! We've got lots of materials building up, which is great, because that'll make expanding a little less agonizing next time. Final check of the grid here. I'm not loving what I'm seeing, but we haven't had too much trouble, but I'm not loving what I'm seeing. I'm honestly really not loving what I'm seeing with that. That doesn't seem too impressive. Uh, yeah, that seems like it sucks, frankly. Uh, whoa, production went way up there. Is the wind went up? I'm not really sure. Well, we're just going to have to leave it. Spares are enough to build more power out if we wanted to. We could technically build more power out if we wanted to. But I'm a little sketched with that concept. Let's maximize speed here. Let's just see what kind of storage we actually pick up before the day is bloody well over. Eh? Oh, I see. The day was actually starting. That was our overnight train. I thought we were in the evening. Ah, oh, we're good. We're good. Okay, check that carriers. Still got 30. We're good, we're good, we're good. Everything's working fine. That was actually end of the day, so... Okay, top's back on. Here we are, folks. Here we are. We made it. We're alive. We're gonna try to keep expanding. We've got 167 colonists. I'd like to have quite a bit more. Expanding out here is the hardest bit because, well, there might be a loopback route for us. I'm gonna guess there is no loopback route for us. Yeah, so we are gonna end up with a puddle over here. It might be another area that goes mostly to power farming. Oh, hello. Yes, you may land. Let's check them out as they come in. Here it comes. Cool, man. Oh, that is really neat. Yeah, I like being able to take care of, like, wounded soldiers and stuff. That's kind of a bonus. It feels good. It feels good. Uh, those are... Oh, yes, they are. <laughs> For a second, I didn't think they were wounded soldiers. Oh, so I guess Bright Purple Patch is technically a soldier? In that case? Is that how that works? Not really sure. Gee, there's no med production in that one. Are they going to be able to get to hospitals that have stuff in them? Like, oh yeah, look, there's meds stacked. Yo, brilliant, man. That's awesome. Oh, they're stacked meds. They're going to be fine. They're going to make it just fine. I could put the medics on an alert. I think it's going to be okay. I don't think they'll die on us. Are there meds in this one too? There really are. Yeah, I don't think they'll die on us. They're a bit bashed around, but they're not in dying level condition. So, I won't alert the medics. And I will bid you guys good night from our little hilltop with our lovely lights casting out of our domes. It's kind of awesome. See everything. One of our lasers just protected us. Seems like we finally have just about enough engineers to keep everything on duty. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now.